sell digital planners on Etsy. In today's video, I'm going to show you exactly how to find the best planners to make and sell on Etsy so you can grow your business, grow your shop revenue. And it gets pretty much completely passive after you create your first listing. I'm going to show you specific listings that are absolutely doing the right things. And you can actually model their success and create some of that success for you. So if you're interested in growing your business, continue watching and I'm going to share my screen now. Okay, so here I am sharing screen. We're gonna go to the search bar. We're gonna type in planner. Okay, so we're gonna see a bunch of things populate here. Obviously, these are all sorted by uh, relevance and search volume. Etsy ranks these in order for us. So planner is being searched the most, planner 22, 2022, I mean, planner stickers, planner printable, planner for iPad, planner Kate, which is a big Etsy shop, of course, planner cover, okay, so on, right? So. The first thing is we need to know what people are actually searching for. I think we all know that planners are being searched for pretty darn often on Etsy. Okay. Otherwise you probably wouldn't be watching this video in the first place. So we're going to just go ahead and type in planner 2022, right? Because it's more relevant, I think. So I can go ahead and search that. And the first thing I'm going to look at is I just want to scan these listings. I want to make sure that I can make something like this, or I'm even interested in making some stuff like this, right? Because if you're watching this, you're very likely a designer or you have some design resources you can make planners or at least you're interested in learning how to make them so that's great now it's a matter of which planners should i make where is the opportunity after all you don't want to be making a planner that no one is actually buying it's, no one wants to actually buy you want to make a planner that actually sells that actually grows that actually adds a lot of revenue and profit to your business and to your life so therefore let's use everybody analytics to figure out which are the best planners for 2022 are being actually purchased today okay and then we're going to make our decisions based on that because we don't want to be making things that don't sell as simple as that. Okay. So then we're going to go ahead and have all this data here, right? We want to sort by monthly revenue. Okay. We have all this data loaded up here and I want to go ahead and sort by monthly revenue, right? So I have the highest to lowest monthly revenue because I'm not interested in making low revenue products that aren't selling. I want to see what is the best selling products right? and make something similar to that. So these are some ads here. You can certainly look at these and model, you know, figure out what these are doing right and wrong. I tend to not necessarily go after the ads just simply because they're paying to be on this first page and I'm more interested in products that are actually organically ranking on this page. So we're gonna go ahead and keep going. This is the first one based on revenue and it's actually organically ranked on the this first page for Planner 2022. And check it out, right? It's been around for three years and eight months. It's pretty simple title. And here are all the tags here. It's bringing $2,400 a month in revenue. And this is a good listing, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and check this one out. Okay, so to me, it seems like it's a physical product and let's check it out. Okay, so here we have a video. So it's a physical product, right? So I'm not necessarily interested in making a physical product for the sake of this video. So I'm gonna go ahead and pass on this, right? I see that it's doing a lot of revenue, but I'm not interested in making a physical product. So let's keep going. So this one's doing $1,900 a month in revenue. I think I covered this in a recent video as well, but let's cover it now again. So it's been around for a year and a half, 2022 digital planner. And it's all digital, right? It's telling us right now. So let's look at this one in depth. Okay, so it's all digital and overall, these are price points on, on sale. So $12.50. It's been around for, I think I said a year and a half, right? So let's check out the data. A year and a half, 190 reviews in this one item. Okay, this is an opportunity. This is a validated product. This is a product that sells and very likely they just update this once a year. Okay, so they update the listing, update the, the images, they update the title. They update probably a few things in the planner itself, but overall, like it's a good strategy. They're just reusing their reviews and it works for them. So yeah, they're getting $1,900 a month in revenue. And this is all pretty much passive, right? Like there's no physical product here. This is the beautiful thing about like digital planners is here's the opportunity. No question. Okay. So let's keep going here. It's good. Good one. I marked that one and let's check out this one. $21 price point digital daily life planner. It's three months old. It's a little new for my liking. Let's pass. Let's find one that's like a little lower down. How about digital planner bundle? $1,200 a month in revenue, $42 price point. looks like it's the same seller maybe as the other one, same style at least. Yeah. Okay. So two months old, fairly new. I want to pass on it just because I'm looking more validated products that have a history of sales. So how about planner weekly? Cool. Four months old, kind of new again. It looks like it is a physical product anyway, so I'm not interested in that. How about printable planner bundle? It's printable, I like this. 
three months old, fairly new, but $1,200 a month in revenue, you know, and maybe some of these listings are new and they're getting ranked simply because 2022 just started. So maybe these are actually doing better than, than what I would originally thought. Right. Like, so you have to kind of put your common sense behind this too. Like it's January by when I'm making this video right now. So a lot of these are 2022 listings for planners. So, you know, it makes sense that there may be their newer things and I need to probably put my thinking cap on and probably consider that. So maybe these products are something I should go into if I design planners. Let's keep going. So a good notes planner, $1,200 a monthly revenue. This one's been around for a while, right? Two years and six months. And it looks like it's all digital. That's nice for us. It's nice for them. 2000 reviews on this listing. Are you kidding me? This thing has been around. It's doing well. It's got a lot of momentum. You can tell. Let's load up some data to look at the data again. Yeah, so it's been around for two and a half years, 2,400 reviews, 30,000 favorites, 101 estimated monthly sales, and $1,200 in passive. I'm going to say it. It's passive, right? Digital products are passive on Etsy, $1,200 a month in revenue, which is basically profit. This is a winning product, no question. So it includes 2022 and 2023 years. It's got a nice listing. Not going to lie. Like, this looks nice. If you are a planner designer, then you want to be modeling things after this. See how organized it is. I like this. This is nice. I feel like it lays out the benefits and the features really well. And 80 covers. This is cool. Yeah, I could see why it's successful. So if you're a seller, if you're a planner designer and you're looking for ideas, this is an idea. Like no question. You don't need to copy this, right? You don't want to copy it. You want to make it your own, but just take out some things that you like, replace it with some other things, you know, put some other things in there that, you know, from other listings and make it creative and make it your own original product. Overall, this is a winning product and you should be using data to point you in the direction of business decisions. So awesome. That pretty much wraps up the video for today, guys. I hope this helps. If you're not signed up for Everbee, again, this is my no shame pitch. Like you absolutely need to be using Everbee, at least on the free plan, right? Like at least just sign up for Everbee, use the free plan. You're going to get this data for free every single month. You get 10 analytics per month. If you want to use it more, then sure, upgrade to the pro or the growth plan. That's awesome. We'd love to have you there too. But overall, like you need the data to make your decisions for your business. If you're not, you're just shooting blind and very likely you're going to be left behind by the sellers that are using data to make their decisions. So anyway, hope you guys are doing great and I hope you guys crush it this week in your sales and I'll talk to you guys soon. See ya. Again, Everbee is the best product research tool there is. It's incredibly powerful for figuring out which products to sell on Etsy, which ones you shouldn't sell, which are going to be profitable, which aren't. And there is a free forever plan. So there's zero credit card required, zero risk. So sign up in the link in the description below. It's 100% free to join. And I look forward to seeing you guys there.